Well, good morning, Tetzlis. I start with a quote from a famous and influential French philosopher, Levi Strauss, who recently passed away at the amazing age of 100 years. Uh, the quote is very simple. He says, the individual becomes meaningful as part of the network that transcends it. Now, in the coming couple of minutes, I would like to tell you to achieve three goals. That after my presentation, one, you understand what holons are, two, how they are organized and structured, and three, that what we can learn from holons. Okay, so with first, what are holons? The definition was coined by Mr. Kuschler in 1967, and as he points out himself, it has a long and remarkable tradition. So, Holons, what are they? They are logical entities that are both a whole and a part. Now let us get, get very practical and give you some examples of physical holons. You, as you all sit here, you are holons. You are a, distinguish yourself as logical entities, that is most of you, from your environment, and you are both a whole and a part. A part because we are sitting here as an audience and we form a TED community. Now, let us give you some other examples. We can think of atoms as holons, and let us take a hydrogen atom. A hydrogen atom is part of a molecule, say a water molecule, H2O. The water molecules can form together a droplet, and the droplet can be part, for example, of a rain shower, a river, or an ocean. And as a last physical hole, and I would like to mention our houses, the houses we live in. The houses together constitute a neighborhood, and the neighborhoods are parts of a city, and the city are parts of our countries, etc., etc. That about the physical holons. Now let us look at the organization of holons. They are organized in networks, and networks can be structured again into aggregation levels. And aggregation levels are beautifully shown in the powers of 10, the animation of Ray Ames, which was from 1977. In this beautiful animation, we descend from level zero, power to power zero, all the way up to the borders of our universe. And we come in the end to 10 to the power of 25. When we have arrived there in this beautiful animation, we go back all the way down, back to level zero, our level. And then we dive into the microcosmos. The, the cosmos of the very little things. And we end with 10 to the power minus 25. Hey, there is the number 25 again. Could it be that 25 marks us, our civilization, our level of civilization, and how far can we get? Now, we also have conceptual holons like letters in the alphabet. Together they constitute words, and words become sentences, etc., etc. We can also think of conceptual homelands for conceptual homeland sectors, sectors you all know, sector of energy, healthcare, ICT. And in total, we have 22 of these sector holons. All of them make the infrastructure of our economy and society. These two ladder layers can be seen regarded as the superstructure. So we have the infrastructure and the superstructure. Here again, you see the 22 sectors. Let's zoom into them and take one sector out. For example, the telecom sector. The telecom sector in the beginning started out as a sector just delivering one services, telephony services. The telephony services resided on the infrastructure being the telecom or rather the telephony network. And again, you see here four layers building up this vertical stovepipe of the telecom world then. But new stovepipes arose, the one that delivered us television and data, say the internet services. This was a situation that could not hold on. It wasn't sustainable. The stovepipes had to tilt, and the infrastructural part of the stovepipes of the stovepipes merged together into one multi-service platform. Here you see this, this multi-service platform. And we can go on with uh, that. Uh, and we did it, not did this detect it as the first ones. Here you see an ocean, ocean, an ocean picture. And we see again here the four layers. They are respectively the S layer for the passive infrastructure. And this passive infrastructure comes alive by active equipment on top of it in the vivid layer, the, live, the, the layer of life. Then we have basic services. In the telecom world, these are network services. On top of it, 
it, we have the sensitive layer and content and emotion is getting into the game. And in the telecom world, we talk about of value-added services and service providers delivering them. These services are combined in the top layer, the intelligent layer. Now, I've talked about cyclic developments in the stovepipes, and we can associate them with the four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Now, this is not unique for the telecom sector. It happens actually in all sectors. Rather, it happens in all holons. And this brings me to pose here an important lemma. If I detect a fact, a law, a phenomenon, a development in any holon, then it will have its counterpart, may have its counterpart, has its counterpart, or has had its counterpart in any other holon. No matter the network and no matter the aggregation level we are talking on. Now, this is a very important lemma because it will generate for us a lot of knowledge. Obviously, we lack the time here to apply the, uh, the, this lemma thoroughly for, for example, for the stovepipes Against in our house. That time. If, if we would do that, come. I'm just early in a second, okay? If we would do that, it would lead us to smart living, and smart living is fueling a new industry which will be very important for us in the coming time. Now, grasping the whole on lemma will bring you, generate for you a spectrum of ideas worth spreading. In fact, I think it's the origin of knowledge and culture, and wouldn't you like to take a bite of the fruits of this non-forbidden tree? I requote Mr. Levi Strauss. The holon becomes important as part of the networks that transcend it. Six minutes ago, you didn't know what a holon was. Now I hope you do, and I challenge you. I challenge you to climb on top of your own holon, to transcend yourself and see that you are part of a huge and complex network. Then apply the lemma, and it will bring you huge insights, social insights, economic insights, and scientific insights. And something more as a bonus. In the end, it will bring you understanding, trust, and love for your fellow holons. Thank you for your attention.